Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be making my birthday nail set, which I'm super excited about. I've been totally inspired by like all Aries stuff, so I'm gonna put up some little inspiration pics, and we're gonna make a super extra set today, and you can watch me work, you can watch me make my birthday nails, and we're gonna do a little experiment at the end, so definitely stick around for that. I hope you enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching guys so i figured i would give you just a little overview of my work area before we get started and get more pulled in up close because i never really get to show everything over to the side i have my nail lamp i have everything i'm going to be using i did make one set so i have something to go off of one hand i should say and i did already paint um the base coat which is two coats of this Born Pretty Jelly Red from their Sea Glass collection, which was perfect for what I was going for. So that's where we're at right now. We just have some long almond or stilettos, whatever. And I just wanted to show you what we're working with here. I'm going to be using another red, another jelly red, and we're going to make like some totally amazing flame nails and we're going to bling them out. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with this base coat. It's by Model Ones. I like to use this one when I'm using it as a blooming gel, which is what I'm doing here. I don't have an actual blooming gel, but this works perfectly fine. So I'm just going to put a nice, thin, even coat onto all of the nails, and then we're going to move into the flame nail art, which is super easy. It's so easy, guys. So my birthday was on April 8th these turned out so cute i was so so happy with them i hope you guys like them in the end you can see my little finished first set over to the right but um i do do a different thumbnail for this one and i honestly end up liking it even more so yeah now we've got that base coat on i'm going to not cure that Make sure you don't cure it because if you cure it, then it's pointless and it won't work as a blooming gel. So I'm taking this Lily Cute J30 Red Jelly Polish. This is more like a blood red color. Um, and I'm going to also use this little thin nail art brush. Those are from Timu. And I'm just going to take some and apply it to the cuticle area of the nails. I'm working like two at a time just so they don't start spreading when I don't want them to and I'm just gonna take my brush and drag little flame shapes it's so easy you really can't mess it up so I'm just dragging that until I'm happy with it and I then cure those two and move on to the other nails and honestly I think you can get away with not even using a blooming gel because we're using jelly colors. It's just really easy, in my opinion, to work with jellies. So yeah, just going to do that again, applying it mostly to the cuticle area, and then we're going to drag it up in a flame shape with our thin nail art brush. So how's everyone doing, guys? Thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I did not forget. Trust me, the giveaway video is coming very, very soon. I can't wait to give back to you guys. Did you guys see the eclipse where you were? Let me know down below. I'm definitely interested in hearing if you did. I saw it where I am. Um, it wasn't total, but you know, that was just pretty cool that it was on my birthday. So I'm just carrying those and here we're going to work on the thumbnail. I tried to like come in a little bit closer for this one and we're just applying it to the cuticle and dragging it up. And then as soon as you're happy with it, cure it before it keeps spreading. And just a tip, always make sure that you drag your polish over to the edges of the nails as well. That way you don't get any like chipping or anything and it just looks more seamless. So here we have the five nails all cured up. They look really cute and we're going to move on to the thumb nail art for this finger. So we're just going to grab some black painting gel. This one's by Savvy Land. It's the only one I have, but I really, really love it and it's super opaque and I never have any issues with the curing. 
So I am ending up using a dotting tool to make the little Aries like round sign and I absolutely love how this turned out. It was my favorite nail by far out of the whole set. So I'm just doing a little curve and then dragging it down for the line and trying to do the other one as equal as possible. If you're still here, comment me down below a ram emoji if it exists. I think that it must. So that way I know you are here. I know that my press on videos don't do as good as like gel X or like hauls and stuff, but I really enjoy making them. So let me know how you feel about press on nail videos. I just, I feel like I can go into more detail and do a better job when they're like not on my hand. And I just have more time to like contemplate the design. So that's why I just really enjoy press ons sometimes. So let me know, what do you like better? Press ons, gel X tutorials? Just, I'm interested in what you guys like watching the most. And I'm just making sure everything's as even as I can get it, and I'm happy with the shape on both sides. And then I end up curing this for 90 seconds, just because you want to, like, extra cure black, just to be safe. But like I said, that black works really, really well, and it's so opaque. So, as you see here, I have my favorite top coat that I always show. It's from Sheen. And I'm just top coating these four nails for now while that thumbnail is curing in my lamp. Um, I love this top coat, guys. I'll link it down below. It's like, I think like two something, but it's just so smooth. It's nice and thin. I just, it moves really nicely and it gives such a nice shine. And it is nonstick non-stick it is no wipe <laughs> which is really really nice and it's very clear it's not cloudy at all so it's definitely a very nice top coat if you are looking for one for a good price so here's the thumbnail cured looking very nice we're gonna top coat this thumb now giving it giving it i can't talk i'm so, so sorry giving it a nice hearty layer making sure we get all the edges always check your edges guys because i hate when i see some of those little like sparse areas on a nail it makes me so mad so i'm just going to cure that top coat i cure the top coat for 60 seconds and i believe we're going to start blinging out the nails this is the glue i'm using right now it's also from sheen it's a complete dupe i believe for the mccart rhinestone glue gel and I'm just taking a little red rhinestone heart and putting that at the cuticle area. I put a nice little glob of the glue down. Just make sure you press your charms down. And I'm making three little dots for the rhinestones and I'm just pushing them down as well. Super easy, super cute. I love this glue. It holds so, so well. And then I'm just going to cure this one for 60 seconds because that's how long that glue takes. And I'm doing the same thing for the ring finger. We're just going to grab this little red rhinestone heart, place it down, three dots, and three red rhinestones. I already had like the rhinestones dumped out on my table, like you saw, just to save time. It's easier to not like dig them out of the grid container. Um, that was a pre-made container. I believe I got it from Sheen. I'll try and find it, and it's really cheap, so yeah. I love those red rhinestones. So I'm using a piercing from my last Timu charm haul, and I'm super excited. This is the first time I used piercing for a nail. Um, so what I'm doing there is just placing it down to see about how much glue I need and where I need it. So I'm squeezing out like a hardy upside down C shape, and I'm just going to place the piercing with my tweezers directly into the glue until I'm happy. If you have any gaps, which you do not want, because we don't want this snagging or pulling off, just add more glue gel to the sides. And it's that simple, guys. Your charms won't move at all. This glue is really good. I did purchase the McCart one, but I didn't open it yet because I'm still using this one. And I have no complaints about it at all. And I'm just carrying that little piercing ring finger 
and yeah i'm super excited to try in one of my next sets like the jump rings that i got i'm so so excited and i finally got the pliers if you saw my last haul you saw me show them and here's just a little close-up of the one hand i'm just using that to figure out how many rhinestones i need for the blinged out nails because i want them to be even so i'm just placing down the dots for the amount of rhinestones trying to like be as even as possible obviously and just getting all the dots down and then we're gonna use our wax pencil thing and we're gonna place down the rhinestones press them down guys you know how it goes and then cure and let me know down below what your favorite wax pencil is for picking up rhinestones um i like this one i might like the regular like wax tip like the kind you can sharpen better i'm not sure sometimes i get aggravated <laughs> this one pretty smooth for me though so yeah let me know what you like the best for picking up your rhinestones down below now we're working on my favorite finger here we're gonna bling this one out too doing the same thing making the dots and then just placing them down pressing them down and curing and if you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate if you can give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And it definitely helps my channel out. Hopefully YouTube is showing my channel because I would definitely like more people to see my videos. I really enjoy making nails so, so much, guys. This is my, like, ultimate hobby. Like, I'm obsessed. I honestly think about nails, like... 24 hours a day it's kind of a problem but yeah it's a good problem i guess so definitely give this video a like i appreciate it so much and if you continue watching to the end i am going to apply these nails on camera usually i don't show myself applying the press-ons but i felt like this time it was necessary like i said we're going to do a little experiment i'm trying the mccart peel off base for the first time um and I want to see how long it lasts well i did see how long it lasts because i'm doing this voiceover after i wore these so yeah it works pretty well guys but we'll get into that more in just a couple minutes so here's what the set is looking like so red so fiery so cute perfect exactly what i was going for and the stickers that i used on the other thumb were like old english font stickers i got them off timu they were in my last haul if you're interested definitely go check that out i will link them down below though for you guys i really like them they came in a bunch of different colors and here i'm just top coating the nails again i'm just kind of pressing up against the rhinestones trying my best not to cover them with the top coat um because i want to seal them in just a little bit more but i don't want to affect the shininess or the facets of the rhinestones if you know what i mean so just kind of go over as best as you can i'm trying to get in all the little crevices here and yeah i want these really shiny glossy i honestly never use matte top coat i should probably try that out but i just i love glossy nails i am top coating the piercing though because i didn't know if it was like gonna tarnish or get scratched or anything so i'm top coating that and i'm also if there was any little gaps left which there really wasn't because the glue did a really good job i'm just you know doing a nice hearty top coat to get in all those edges and one more little tip for doing press-ons um since a lot of people who have gel allergies like to still use their products and make press-ons um be careful around the cuticle area that you don't have like spillage going under the underside of the nail because you don't want any uncured gel ever touching your skin for long periods of time so try and clean that up as best you can if you know that's an issue that you deal with um it's an easy fix just take a little q-tip or something and wipe under there with some alcohol and you'll be all good to go with your beautiful press-ons i love this nail so much how many times did i say that in this video look how pretty it is so we're all top coated here looking super glossy exactly what we want just giving you a little close-up of all the nails and so you could see the flames and there we go we're all cured all ready to go all ready to be applied 
definitely let me know how you feel about this set down below. I'd love to hear it. There I am pointing out my favorite nail again. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I hope you're still here to watch the application process because here we are breaking out the McCart Peel It Off base coat. Um, I absolutely loved this. I had pulled out a brush because I didn't know if I was going to like the brush in the bottle, but I indeed do. So I'm just going to wipe off my nails with some 91% alcohol wiping them really really good you want to make sure you don't have any dust any oils and this works really well for that you could also go over it with a dehydrator if you want to do that extra step but I was only planning to wear these for like a day or two so and I do have a rubber base down on my nails which I like to do all the time anyway for just strength for my nails because they've been problematic recently but they're doing much better now thank god so I'm going to film a video on that, how I do my protective base in the very near future because I think it's just good information to share. So I'm just doing an even smooth coat, getting every little spot of my nail with this base coat because I don't want any parts to be stuck. Sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> um, yeah, so just apply a nice even layer and this says in the little booklet to cure for 60 seconds so that is indeed what i did and then we get into applying the press on so like i said i'm hoping i was hoping that these nails would last like just a day or two and i also was interested to see if it would pull off the rubber base from underneath my nails and it didn't so this lasted better than a previous peel off face coat that i used for my nails um i had got that one off of sheen for like a dollar that one works like too well and i'm um, honestly can't wait to test this out in different ways like with just the strip method because i think you can get more longevity out of this than just two days which is nice because i definitely hate soaking off my nails but i'm kind of in a weird spot where i want them to stay on um for maybe like three days four days but i don't I really don't want to do soak offs like it's so aggravating so this worked well i'm definitely going to try this with like gel x too using this in different ways using it with primer you know the prep really matters for longevity so there's a lot more experiments i want to try with this base coat but all in all i'm very pleased with it and if you get any gel on your skin just take a micro q-tip or a brush and dip it in alcohol and just clean that up definitely before you cure because you want to try your best to not have any uncured gel cured to your skin it's just not great so there we are and i'm gonna cure that and we're gonna move on also i'm extremely interested in the jello jello one kill peel off base set so if you any of you guys have used that let me know down below your experience with it and if it is worth it this is my favorite regular nail glue it's cala brand i buy mine off of amazon it comes in like four packs which is great this one lasts really well and i find that it doesn't leave like gross residue on your nails like i've had kiss ones do that and i absolutely hate that like build up this one stays really well if i don't use this peel off base method which i usually don't this is the first time these nails will stick for a very very long time so if you're looking for a good regular nail glue i definitely definitely recommend checking this one out for yourself so you just want to like apply enough glue to the nail where you know it's going to reach the tip of your nail um, because that's important Kind of like gel x obviously you don't want any gaps in there because that's where water is going to enter and they're just going to pop off way easier so make sure you're using enough glue and hold that sucker down for like 15 seconds at least to get it stuck you definitely want to make sure that you're doing that because it does make a big big difference in the longevity and just you don't want any gaps guys I think I show you on this one, um, I flip my finger upside down so you can see the actual glue is reaching the tip of the nail. Very important. Yeah, there you go. It's reaching the whole free edge of my nail. No gaps. And just keep holding it down until you feel like it's set pretty well. 
and I go back and kind of push on the other ones and I'm just going to continue putting these on just like that. And yes, this method worked so well for me. I'm very happy with it. No damage. Um, sometimes I can really destroy my nails um, <laughs> with press-ons too. I know people say like they're healthier, but honestly, sometimes I cause myself more damage with press-ons than I do with gel X. So I definitely recommend if you have not tried using a gel base or a rubber base coat under your press-ons, obviously cured. Um, it really, really makes them stick a lot better. And also if you have flat nail beds, this helps fill in any gaps, meaning you don't have to use as much glue and you run less risk of having gaps because the base is giving you more of an apex and stuff on your nail and making them less flat. So it just, little tip, it just helps in my case a lot. I'll definitely be using that peel off face coat again, for sure. Loved it. I was able to keep these nails on for two days, which is what I wanted. And I, like I said, I can't wait to test out doing like the strip method that you see like a lot of Korean nail artists use where you just put a bit on the center of the nail. So there's more um, adhesion, so they last a bit longer. So I'm really interested in seeing how that works out for me in a future video. So I'm just gonna finish up that pinky and we're gonna show you the finished product. I hope you enjoyed actually seeing how I apply my press-ons um, and I hope that if you're looking for nail glue like I said this one's really really good absolute favorite and it never like gets stuck and glued shut like you know sometimes the nozzle can get clogged which is super annoying this one never does that for me and I get a lot of use out of one bottle and they're not expensive the four pack is uh, I'm not sure how much maybe like five bucks they're not expensive in my opinion, this glue is way better than Kiss, guys. So yeah, all done, all applied. These are so cute. I was so happy to wear these on my birthday. So, so happy. So I apply the other hand off camera and I'm going to show you both of them on. Definitely let me know down below what you think about this set. And let me know if you have any um, requests for future videos. I'd be more than happy to write those down in my notebook and do that for you. So I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys. Thank you for 500 plus subscribers. That giveaway is coming soon. So don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on that and you don't miss any future uploads from me. I'll see you guys in the next one.